Res. This is Teddy. Um, and today we are playing for Legendary Murr. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a Faye video. I have been pulling, you know, on the side, um, but overall I've just been saving up my orbs for, you know, my favorite characters. I love Murr. Um, I've got her regular version maxed out. I got her um, armored forma version, which is one of my most used uh, used units. And then it's a bonus that Legendary Claude is on this weapon as well. Um, bit of personal news, I got engaged over the weekend. Um, so that is very exciting. Teddy was the ring bearer. Um, but uh, yeah, the ring gave me luck uh, in my DFFO polls on Sunday. So I'm hoping that it brings them luck here as well. So blue is stacked here. I love to get more copies of Legendary Violet. And then I missed out on Legendary Sita last time. So it would be great to get um, her, our priorities, Murr, and then I would love to get more merges on Legendary Claude. I was able to max out my Brave Claude. Um, oh, nice, three blues. Uh, I was able to max out my Brave Claude on the um, CYL4 rerun banner, although it took so many, <laughs> it took so many orbs, um, but I did manage to get him to plus 10, so. Um, I want to totally kit him out, but I want to wait until we see what his uh, refine will be. Hopefully he gets some sort of um, some sort of addition to his prep weapon that negates any penalizing skills um, because obviously the biggest uh, his biggest weakness is um, you know any kind of like, pulse smoke artifact or fatal smoke or anything like that. Um, so that would be great for him to get something that would allow him to bypass those penalties. Um, I'm also really salty that he never got a pref like B skill or anything because he could really use something like that, especially since now all CYL units are getting um, the like not only a pref weapon, but also an additional prep skill, uh, even if they're not like the top, you know, girl and top guy. So hopefully they add them for the older CYL units that didn't get those skills. Because Brave Claude, you know, since he's, since he's an enemy phase unit, um, he doesn't really need uh, like a trace skill. So right now I just have him uh, with Vantage, which is a really fun moveset with Close Counter. Um, but yeah, I'm very curious to see what his refine will be. I'm trying to think what units, what new units I've gotten since. Oh, I did pull on the Ascended Ishtar banner. I went to um, Spark on that to Spark her, but I did get three copies of Tine along the way, which was great. Um, I also pulled on the Fallen banner uh, with Rhea. I got um, Ninian on the very last circle. Um, she's plus attack, but unfortunately she has minus HP, but which is the one, you know, one of the few units that you actually do want. Um, oh, nice, Byleth. Uh, one of the few units that you actually do, I love her tights, um, that you actually do want, uh, you know, plus HP for, but nothing a sacred uh, seal can't solve. Um, okay, she's plus res. I can't remember. I think I sparked my first copy of her, so I think mine is just neutral. Um, so, yeah, uh, what was I saying? I can't remember. Um, oh yeah, I sparked. Uh, oh yeah, and then I got Fallen Ninian in the last circle, and then I sparked Rhea, who is terrifying and a really, really good unit. So I know some people saying that Legendary Murr might be a little bit redundant if you already have um, Fallen Rhea. Um, I don't really keep up with the meta that much. I'm fine, like, being very average in 
arena and in ether raids. Um, I have the most fun in this game when I just, you know, absolutely kit out my favorites and go for them. So those are the rules that I am trying to follow. That I'm trying my best to follow in this game, because um, otherwise I just uh, I end up going a little a little crazy with my resources. Yay! Yay, I think I'll be plus four now. Yay. He's plus HP, that doesn't matter. I've already got him at plus speed. Yay, we get another merge for him. Ooh, perfect circle. I do wish we had a way at least like once a month to be able to kind of add a rainbow merge. I think I've talked about this before, but kind of like, um, you know, how uh, we had that option in Crystoria RIP, like to have a rainbow awakening and ascension stone once a month. Um, Cause as of right now, there's no way to do that. And say like we have the dragon flowers, which kind of do the same thing with the additional stats, but in order to actually get a unit to plus 10, you have no options except to actually pull 11 copies of that unit. So for units like Legendary Claude, who are only on Legendary Banners, where the rates for individual units. Oh, yay, Sita! Yay. I love, love, love her art. It's so cute. She's so cute. She's minus speed. That is not great, but maybe we can get another copy of her at some point. <clears throat> so far, we've done really well on this banner in terms of uh, pulling desired units, so that's good. Um, hopefully, I didn't just jinx anything while saying that. But yay, Sita. I love her and I love her art. I was bummed when I couldn't get her last time around, but I didn't, I didn't, I think I had just gone ham on a banner before then. And so I didn't really have that many orbs. So I didn't want to, you know, risk running out and not having enough for Spark. So I'm glad I waited because now she's on a banner with, she's color sharing with, uh, oh, Okay, we're back. Sorry, I forgot to clean out my barracks before this. But yeah, so now blue is stacked on this banner and legendary Claude is on this banner. So it's kind of perfect. Hopefully we can get a couple more copies of desired units along the way. But we've made out, you know, pretty pretty good so far. Power of the ring. Normally I would pull on this banner like right at launch at 3 a.m. but I've been trying to go to bed earlier. So here we are the following day. Oh yay, another Byleth. I really do love her, love her art. Nice, plus speed, all right. Niles. I really wish Niles were better in this game. Like even with the resplendent stats and his prep weapon, his, it's just, it's just unfortunate. Oh, 
Hopefully we can get one copy of Legendary Myrrh before pity. But if not, we have done really well so far. I don't even remember who's on green for this batch. I think it's, I think it's pretty solid. I just haven't, I just like, don't super care about a lot of the units, but we can go for that last green for efficiency. Ferdy, your savior has a Oh, Muriel, always good to get more ideal water. I wonder if we're ever gonna get Vake in this game. <laughs> Enter the Vake. I think he's the last like is he the last adult, like, original unit in Awakening? Oh, Python. I love my um, Forma Python. The only thing is that I couldn't get, I have attack speed menace for him. I couldn't get attack defense menace, which is a bummer because I went with the Plegian. I went with the Plegian bow build, but I gave him chill defense seal, so. Right now in Forma, I'm building up Eldigan, love his art. Um, and I just finished getting, ooh, great, great circle. I just finished getting all the desired skills for him. So I'm very happy about that because usually I end up like with one, just one that I'm missing that's like pretty good, but it's not ideal. And it's like not a unit that I would want to actually sacrifice like that premium thought or two. Oh yay, another legendary Sita, excellent. Man, we are getting so many non mers but I mean, thankfully, pity exists. Okay, minus attack and minus speed. But that's fine, we can just merge and cancel out the bane. That was still like one of my favorite features added to this game. <laughs> I love her art, it's so cute. All right, it looks like next circle is going to be the final one before we spark. I learned my lesson like so many times. I try, I, I feel like I never learned my lesson for this where it's like, even if I have a high pity rate when I actually reach spark. Like, do not try to go and break it. Every time I've done that, I've ended up spending like an additional 200 orbs trying to break pity. And then I end up with like a unit that I don't super care about. So <laughs> instead of the desired unit, oh, Bramal Wand. I think mine is, I think the one I already have is plus attack. Um, or like plus res or something. But at least we don't have to worry about breaking pity rate on this since we got something on the very last circle. But maybe we can get more here or, 
É o que você vai aqui. Overall, though, like, great haul. And now we can pick up Legendary Mirror and be on our way. Oh, Levitane. That's fun. I think I already have one that's plus attack, but let's go ahead and get our adorable girl mirror. God, imagine if I chose the wrong, wrong one. The wrong blue. Ah, she's so cute. I love her so much. I have never played Sacred Stones, but Mer, just because of um, Faye, has just become one of my favorite characters um, in Fire Emblem. She's so cute. Look at her art. I love her. I'm so glad she got a legendary uh, unit. I was very, very excited. Um, I was very excited when uh, when she was announced. So anyway, I mean, not a great ending <laughs> ending screen to look at, but anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you got in uh, the comments below. What you got on your polls, and uh, yeah, I will see you on the next one. Hopefully, we get something for the uh, new Fire Emblem Warriors game. I just saw the updated outfits and looks for uh, Golden Deer House and I uh, would love a new Claude alt. So, you know, I can hope or like I would take Summer Claude as well. That would that would work too. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.